It has certainly been a very unusual surge along the coast of Réunion since last Thursday. There's been no multinational effort like we saw off the Australian coast last year. All we've had is a very small contingent of Malaysian investigators, four of them combing the beaches and as well as that, the beach cleaners who themselves discovered that flapper on last Thursday, which is now confirmed as a part of the wing of missing Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. So there has been no official search launched here and there's been no indication yet that that will happen after this positive identification of a part of the airline. We have had a number of false leads since the discovery of the flapper on, none of which have been confirmed as linked to the airline, including media reports suggesting that a plane door had washed up, as well as a number of metallic objects. I saw the Malaysian team taking away bags of evidence from the beach. None of that yet has been identified or confirmed to be linked, but we know that those parts are being looked at closely by French authorities. We know that Mauritius has launched a sea and air operation from the nearby island. They are hoping to try and spot any piece of debris that might still be floating around this region. That is on the request of Malaysian authorities who hope to expand the search around this area in case they can pick up something else because at this stage there is still just that one piece of evidence. Of course that will be more analysed in France to try and determine whatever they can get from this, try and refine the search area where Australian vessels are still searching for a possible crash site more than one year since this flight went missing.